guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is a traditional video on my channel that I upload every single year on Eid Day itself. Uh, that is the Eid Get Ready With Me and today it's Get Ready With Me and Go Nowhere. I'm absolutely going nowhere. I'm literally wearing pajamas underneath my kurti here that I borrowed from my mom. So it's an old kurti that I borrowed from my mom. So I know for a fact that this is a quarantine Eid but I didn't want to change this one single tradition that I do every year. Uh, I've done this video since the time I started my channel and this was the first video on my channel so it's very very special to me. So if you're watching this on Eid Day itself then Eid Mubarak. I hope you and your family are safe and at home and you can reconnect with everyone through video call that's exactly what I did right now called my entire family on video call and connected with them because that's the only way we are meeting them this year so yeah I hope you're safe you're at home and if you're interested to watch this video let me warn you it's a long one I'm sad and just talk to you all like you all are my friends on the internet so go grab your shirkurma and go grab your biryani and then you can keep on watching Alright, so let's dive straight in the video. I already went ahead and applied primer and realized that it was not recording. So, luckily I just missed the primer step. I used the Chambord Anti-Shine Primer. Uh, yeah, I just applied it to my T-Zone. My skin is going through a really, really rough period right now. Like, it's not having it. I don't know if it's because I've not been having enough water lately or... Uh, I don't know if it's the weather or what it is but I have so many like dry patches like in general my skin is oily so I try to follow a more gel based skincare routine but um, I have like dry patches all around my face so if I'm applying foundation my foundation is clinging on to those dry patches and it looks really really bad I don't know if the camera can pick it up but uh, it looks bad in person and I just don't like it. I'm taking the pack foundation and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the sugar drop the base serum foundation because this is so dewy and hydrating and just very very healthy looking. So I'm gonna mix the two. I need to exfoliate actually I've not used an exfoliator on my skin for a very very long time and I really need to do that. So that all like my dead skin, dry skin just comes off and like my skin can breathe again. And what is up you guys? What are you all doing these days at home? How was your Ramzan? Uh, my Ramzan was probably the most uh, rosas I've ever kept my entire life. Uh, I completed 23, 22 rosas. Uh, so I missed 8 because of my period and apart from that I've managed to keep everything else which is my personal best, my high score. So yeah, and I've never been able to keep like these many fasts ever in my life. So I'm really proud of myself. Apart from that, there was really nothing going on. And even today, it really doesn't feel like Eid because I can realize that because I'm wearing pajamas and I'm wearing kurta. Like at the end of this video, there's going to be no outfit of the day. Usually in my Eid Get Ready With Me, there's an outfit. And I go out and do like an outdoor shoot and every year I take my friend Purnima and we search for a spot uh, near where I live to be able to go and take like a nice outfit of the day and I have my friends over for biryani and shirkurma. There's no Eid ki dawat, there's no biryani party and it's just sad. It's just a very very sad Eid. Like after this I just know that I'm going to change in my pajamas and sit and edit this video. That's, that's what my Eid is going to look like this year. And yeah, I managed to call everyone and wish everyone and I still have a couple of relatives to call and wish but apart from that there is really nothing else I can do. Uh, so that sucks. Alright for concealer, I'm using the Pack Spotlight HD concealer. I'm just going to take a little bit underneath my eyes and on my high points. So I just wanted to talk to you all about how like this is like my fourth Eid get ready with me right yeah this is my fourth Eid get ready with me and I've been doing YouTube for the past three years now uh, I'm gonna be completing three years on 26th June I think we started that was the Eid back in 2017 is when I started my channel and yeah it's insane to know how far I've come like in the whole YouTube uh, thing because I never honestly you guys I never thought that I would be doing this even now even after three years when I started it I literally had no clue 
what I was doing, why I was doing it. I just wanted to do it and I went ahead with it. I never gave it that much thought that oh you know what it can be a big thing or you know what it can be like really time consuming or I might want to do better or I might just I never gave it thought at all and since I used to always be so busy like I have never gotten this breathing space to really reflect on what I do and why I'm doing it and how I've been doing it because uh, with a medical college life we had a very very busy busy on the go life firstly from where I live my college is a four hour journey like both two hours to go two hours to come so it's like my travel used to take so much of my time then college and then all the assignments that we used to have in college used to just consume me completely and apart from that doing YouTube was only like a break I used to take on weekends which was fun playing with makeup and then editing was not fun but playing with makeup and all of that and as I went along the numbers kept on increasing I kept on doing the same thing I did nothing really changed uh, and yeah, the numbers were increasing, but I never really paid heed to it. You know, I never thought hey, uh, it's going somewhere. And even today, I don't feel like it's going anywhere. That That's the whole thing. Like, I think what I'm trying to say is that when I started it, I didn't mean to continue forever. Like, I still don't mean to continue forever. There might just be one fine day that I get up and say that, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. I will do it for as long as... I am enjoying it. That is that was very clear in my head from day one that this is something, it's a passion project. It's something I'm doing for my passion, something I'm doing to escape from my studies and escape from the mundane life of my college. And I don't want this to be a mundane job that I have to have to do. Uh, but it has been keeping me very sane in the pandemic. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very grateful to have you do right now to be able to express to be able to communicate on such a large platform and to be able to have my creativity explore my creativity in with makeup uh, in the pandemic so that's been really helpful uh, for my mental health as well as for just occupying me into something because college hasn't been going on at all we don't even have online lectures so we have absolutely nothing to do but yeah lately with the pandemic i've been putting so much effort into my videos and i've really enjoyed it see i never do uh i never put the effort for anybody to praise me for anybody to tell me that oh you know what you're doing this it's for me it's personally i am my biggest critic and when i look at my videos and i feel like this is not right i will not put it out there i don't put out content i'm not personally happy with Whenever I am doing a video, I always think, will I watch it? So if I know that I will watch this kind of a video, then I film that. So so many times I get recommendations, but I feel like, you know what, that's not something I will watch. So I don't do it. Like I do something that interests me. Because if my complete heart and soul is not into that video, then it will not be the best video I've put out. And even if it does very good in numbers, I know that I have not done my best for that video because I was just not feeling it. So I really think and uh, do it like I don't have to reach a target of a one upload a week or a two upload a week. I'm not answerable to any one of you and that's the best thing like over the years, over three years, I have received so many emails and so many, you know, you, once you start growing your channel, uh, you start receiving emails from these companies, these digital marketing companies, and, uh, which basically what they do is uh, they market your platform, they um, they make your, they help you grow basically. So they edit your videos for you, they help you shoot in better lighting, in better setup. They give you the camera equipment as well if you want. There are a lot of different types of entertainment uh, industries, and they offer a lot of things. And I have been offered that over the years. But I have always turned them down. There were a couple of times that I was really considering it. But then I would only remind myself that I don't want this turning into a job. Because then when I become answerable to someone, this will just become so hectic for me that I will go crazy trying to manage college and this at the same time. So I've always turned those opportunities to grow my channel down. I have always known that whatever I'm doing is fine with me. And if I'm if I want to do better, I'll do it better myself and I don't want external involvement into my channel. So yeah, uh, that's why I have never taken help. I have like initially I did not have a laptop, did not have a camera. 
I had a laptop, but it was so old, so old that I could not even download an editing software uh, onto that laptop, and uh, my phone didn't have that much space to be able to film videos and edit videos on my phone. So that was also not an option for me. So I used to uh, borrow a camera from my friend, who was very, very generous to give me his. Uh, it was a Canon 600D, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, it was that DSLR, and he would he stays like 30 minutes away from me. So I would have to every time I remember I used to come back from college at 4 4:30, 4 take my Activa, go all the way to his house 30 minutes, take the camera, come back 30 minutes, one hour to do this, and then by the time I would come home, it would be dark, so I can't film that day. Then I have to film the next day, and that's why I used to get so tired. And sometimes when I look at my old videos, I realize how tired I look. Because I know that I have come home from college, I've not eaten anything and I've sat to record a video just because I wanted to do it. It used to be so exciting and so interesting for me to like create content and like what, what can I do next? What can I do next? That was like constantly on my mind and it still is. Like this is still how I think like what can I do next? What can I do to get my channel better? So basically where I'm headed with this long ass story is that despite me saying this a lot of times on my channel that uh, this is for my passion and this is like a passion project and I'm a full-time student you know there's nothing part-time about being a student I, I can do YouTube part-time and that's what I do but I can't do s studying part-time like it's always been my priority so like to be able to submit my cases on time in college to be able to study well and give my exams well all of that has been my priority over the last three years and that can never change, that will never change, that always has to be my priority and somewhere over the past two months in this pandemic, I have somewhere lost that priority, I think I've completely forgotten that you know what, I was doing this part time and I have suddenly started to invest full time into this and that's not a problem, the time is not a problem right now, we have all the time in the world on our hands but because I have put so much effort in the videos that I put lately and I have not been getting the numbers it's really been demotivating like honestly every day to wake up and tell myself that Sara continue to do this continue to film there are still people watching you continue to edit continue to create content this is what you like to do has been a task I literally don't say this online but I really really motivate myself to get up from the bed every day, to put up my camera and to film a video it's not been easy you guys, it's been very difficult and I know you always say that the numbers come eventually, the numbers come eventually it's not that I'm number hungry, I've never been all these years I have never spoken about how many subscribers I have, all of that I've not cared because I've not had the time to care, you know like Kabhi itna time nahi tha to think ke, you know why this video didn't get so many views or I did so well in this video, why this is not like doing better than it can do. I should literally come back from college on Saturday, quickly quickly film a video and then Sunday just sit, edit and upload a video and finish back to college, back to my normal work, normal routine. So just never have the time to reflect and think and stress about YouTube basically. So never really stress but lately uh, I have been stressing. I'm going to be honest, I have been stressing and because I've been uh, in the quarantine pandemic period approached by uh, a couple of opportunities have come my way uh, which are by bigger bigger brands like brands I've only dreamt of working with and they are not paid collaborations I'll be very honest they are all barter uh, barter is when you do something for them and their name is attached to your their brand name gets attached to you so then that's like a barter collaboration so nothing is really paid money is not even in the picture I'm not doing this for money at all uh, so that's not, I'm not here for the business aspect of it, that's not going to be my channel ever. So I'm being very very honest over here and YouTube revenue, like you think the ads pay you money, the ads don't pay me enough money to even buy a Fenty foundation, not even monthly, like first forget monthly payment, to aata hi hai. you get a payment like maybe once in 4 months, once in 5 months, based on how I'm talking about my, my channel and how my channel does. Monthly payment the usual I don't get only I've never gotten a monthly payment I get once in five months or once in four months and now with the pandemic I haven't received a single payment since the time the lockdown because since uh, Companies are not giving advertisements to Google to put on YouTube 
the ad the adsense re revenue has only like come down so every day i check my analytics and the revenue just keeps on dropping and dropping every day by a dollar so if i can give you like a rough of if i made 100% i am now making 20% of that so like 80% is not being made because of how like the recession basically inflation has already hit so it's there on youtube as well so if you think your big youtubers who are uh putting up content they are putting it for money they are not doing it for money you guys they are just doing it to put content and keep you all entertained in this period because nobody trust me nobody is making money in this period or good money in this period so yeah so if i see like every day when i wake up and i see my analytics first thing which is a very toxic thing to do and i need to stop doing that then i check my youtube youtube analytics the first thing when i get up and i see that the video didn't get that many views as much as effort i put into it the revenue is still dropping only and just you know nothing is really like sparking and there are no many comments people are just watching it for the heck of it and i know everybody is going through a tough time nobody is going to sit and comment on my videos i understand that but just as a creator i have been very critical on me lately and like i was saying because i've been approached by these big brands that's the only validation i've gotten in this period like I'm so grateful that I have been approached by those big companies or been a part of these big things lately. I will be announcing everything very very soon on my channel and on my social media platforms. But because of that, I've at least felt the validation. I was telling my best friend that day that when I'm in collaboration with such big things, I feel like am I even worth it to be like you know they like working with them because I don't have that big numbers, which has been the only validation. that you know you're doing good you don't have to constantly criticize yourself because you don't have that many numbers because people who have been doing youtube for 3 4 years 3 years like me suppose or 2 years also nowadays hit 100k like this like literally within a year people are hitting 100k and i'm just here on my 16k and being happy with that and all this while i was very very happy but lately i have been very critical of myself i'm not going to lie I'm being vulnerable here, and I don't speak of all this on the internet. In fact, I don't even speak about all this to my friends uh, because I just feel like I know the only answer I'm going to get from them is you're doing this as a hobby, and I know that. I remind myself that every day as well. But it's a lot of hard work to be just a hobby. So if you're doing that much hard work, you need appreciation in some way. If not money, I'm not asking for money. No big brands, but at least like maybe the views or. Just the comments or everything, and then when I receive a comment saying you're not working hard enough for your channel, I just I can't take it. You know that I just can't take it. Like I feel like lashing out so bad, but I've never I've never lashed out. Think before you comment. You know, I think people just forget that at the end of the day, it's a human behind the camera. It's not an object for your entertainment. We are not objects. We are humans here to entertain you, but at the end of the day, we are humans. Yeah. You can't just sit on the internet and just say whatever Jo Marzi aaya and we we'll just ignore it if we want. Everybody who says ignore hate, it's not easy. You guys to ignore hate. Imagine getting up in the morning, checking your notifications when you check messages from your friends. You also have one comment saying you suck, and people just don't say you suck. You know they give you a full blown explanation of why you suck. Like why do you think that I want to get up in the morning and read that first thing on my. notifications that i suck for so and so reason who will be able to wake up happy and choppy and have a good day after that and you should expect us to come on camera and be happy and uh, give you good vibes and all of that it doesn't work that way it's like a barter you know you give us happy vibes we'll give you happy vibes if you uh, there are some things that i'm really going to pull the leash on like i'm i'm going to make sure that i'm not doing review videos till the economic status of everything just comes down a little bit till people are able to go back to work and earn their regular incomes and i know many people are on 50% cutouts 40% cutouts i know in my own house we are literally trying to make ends meet over here and in these difficult times buying makeup is so out of the picture i'm not even thinking about buying makeup that's something i've really put my foot down on that for the sake of content i'm not going to buy makeup anymore to review it until the economic status really steadies and like people can go back to earning their regular incomes and then you know you can indulge into all this right now we are still just purchasing essentials and 
we are in the we are in a critical critical place so i don't want to be promoting consumerism on my channel right now okay so we've had a lot of serious talk here so let's change the mood up a little bit i'm so excited for the collaborations that are coming it's going to blow your mind i hope it blows your mind because it's big okay like from just think of me as somebody who's literally heard their name and been like i have taken a Double check when I get those emails and been like, is it legal? Is it like really them emailing me, or am I mistaken? So I'm really, really excited for the collabs which are coming. Apart from that, what's new? Faj is really, really happy that we are all at home. He's living his best life, you guys. He's just so, so happy, and I'm so scared that like if I go down even to buy groceries, and that's not when I take him down. He's not like ready to leave me, you know. He comes till the door, and he's like, "Where you're going? Like, why are you not taking me?" So he has severe separation anxiety, and I think it's only going to get worse when the whole pandemic thing is over and my college starts, and I have to go back to my routine life. He's going to be having a tough time that time, but I'm not trying to think about that right now because he's happy now, and as long as he's happy, we are happy. It's a stable environment so what's up with you all how is your mental health treating you what is what are you all doing all day leave it in the comments below let's have a good chat over there what do you all do all day at home do you all help out at home or do you all have work from home so for my eyes i'm diving into the jaclyn hill palette one of my ogs i've not used it in a very very long time and i don't know what exactly i want to do this palette always inspires me whenever i'm feeling like I got I lack inspiration I look at this palette because I really look up to Jaclyn Hill I know she's had some downfalls in the industry but it's not about how many times you fail but how many times you can come back up and like you know kick that problem in the face and really stand back up and she's one of those YouTubers that has always just stood back up and given her problems a kick in the face and no matter what like literally I think that One year or two years back, she's gone through her divorce. She's gone through the pa uh, her brand launching and failing miserably. And despite all of that, she's still standing strong. She came out with another launch with her brand. It did well, and she gets so much backlash. You guys, if you see her comment section on her Instagram post or even on her YouTube, it's so bad. And so whenever I use this palette, I just feel like I'm using one of her biggest success because this palette was her biggest biggest success. and it sold out so quickly and i managed to get one of the first pieces before it sold out so whenever i'm lacking inspiration that's what i do i look up to youtubers who inspire me whose journeys inspire me whose stories inspire me and that keeps me going so on the mornings that i can't wake up and i just don't find inspiration i sit and watch videos by these youtubers and then it makes me feel better because these are people whenever i see a youtuber's video i always remind myself this is a person and he and he or she is actually going through this so then it makes me realize how humanly connected you are to that person on the internet i'm just a youtube person i've always been up not what so many shows in my life or so many movies like so many times there are classic movies that my friends recommend and i'm just like i've not watched it so i have not watched lion king like disney disney is something i don't hold back on disney movies really really excite me and i had not watched lion king and my friend was just like how have you not watched lion king you need to get on your computer and do that right now so i did watch lion king the other day it was nice it was not <laughs> i don't want to upset anyone but i don't think it's the best disney movie i've seen there are so many so many better disney movies uh i really really love the new aladdin which has will smith and naomi scott that movie is amazing after watching that movie i have been listening to the song um a whole new world so many that on repeat that song is so good you guys i put it in my igtv video as well and it's just a magical song and it's, it's a great song to listen to in such a period of time that it gives you hope it really really gives you hope princess jasmine is anyways one of my favorite favorite disney princesses because she is one of the badasses and in this movie she is just like totally totally my favorite now though there is no comparison only to any other disney princess at least like i should always think between cinderella and princess jasmine before like who do i like more 
and Moana. Like Moana is so I don't consider her a princess, but Moana is one of my favorite movies and characters. That is one of my favorite Disney movies. But between Princess Jasmine and uh, Cinderella, I used to always feel like you know who's better. But now it's Princess Jasmine. Like there's no there's no coming back from that after watching that movie. You just have to watch it, okay? So after you finish watching this video, you can go ahead and watch that movie if you haven't. Also, by the way, I have been making TikToks for Fudge, uh, which have been super, super fun and super exciting. I don't know why the whole uh, TikTok versus YouTube uh, thing goes on over the internet. I just feel people are bored in the pandemic, and that's why they are doing this. Because TikTok and YouTube are both such different platforms. Having done both, I can say how different they are. Like TikTok is all about trends and one-minute videos. The max you can make on TikTok is one minute. It's more like swipe swipe for fun and you can be watching tiktok videos all day whereas youtube is like mostly people put out 10 15 minute content on youtube so it's like a journey on uh, youtube so it's two different platforms and i don't know why people need to compare them but anyway i was thinking that i might just make my own tiktok uh, platform now that ramzan is over this entire month i have only been editing and sleeping that's all i've done and kept my fast and praying, yeah, lots of praying. Alright, so I went off camera to add uh, lashes. I actually wanted to add falsies, but uh, I was not having, like today is not my day with falsies. My falsies were not attaching really well. So I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and the Essence Lash Princess and I mixed both of them to really give me drama on my lashes. And I also did my winged liner off camera. So now for the lips, I'm uh, confused on what I want for my lips actually since the eyes turned out so smoky. Definitely gonna go with a nude lip. So I'm going in with the sugar uh, lipping on the edge lip liner. This is the shade Wooded by Nude. So for lipstick, I'm confused if I should go for Lacme Forever Matte. Uh, this is in the shade Nude Dream and it's more of a rosy pink or MAC Toe. Uh, I think I'm going to go in with this and if I feel it's too pinky peachy then I'll go in with MAC Toe. MAC Toe is more of a brownie neutral or uh, nude color. So it just neutralizes any lipstick. Till the lipstick really settles down, I'm gonna add some earrings. These are really, really simple as compared to what I usually wear on Eid. Uh, so I'm going in for smaller earrings since this has a little bit of black going on. So it's cute, I got it from Kolkata when I had gone to Kolkata last year. Okay, I went ahead and curled my hair in the morning after waking up because I want, I know my hair is curly naturally, but I just wanted some more decent curls, like which is heat treated. <laughs> So that I feel feel a little more Eid like. I usually straighten my hair on Eid when I go out to the salon and get that done. I don't have a straightener at home. So I just have a curler. So mostly I went for like straight and then like curls niche. I think I'm liking the lipstick. Maybe I'll just give it a little bit of MAC taupe in the middle because it's looking too pink, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's too pink. Guys, this is not my color. It looks much better. It's more neutralized. So yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm really happy with how it looks. Actually, I was not going in for something so smoky and sultry. But this is how it turned out. It's always that I'm planning something very simple and it always goes the opposite route. But I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed as well this very chit chatty kind of a video. My traditional Eid video. Uh, this was one tradition that I really wanted to keep intact. It actually makes me feel good that I could do this in my Eid part of the day. Because my mornings were always film a video and then go and meet all my relatives. So I'm happy I could do at least this much. If you did actually like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time there's a new video on my channel. I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Eid Mubarak, stay home, stay safe and be positive that this will all go away very, very soon. Bye you guys, love you all.